everyone, my name is T.R. Smith and I'm a mixed media artist and instructor. And I'm here today to share with you a cool, quick tutorial. I'll be sharing how to make this pretty little card with four simple supplies and five easy steps. Yay! But first, I want to say thank you to the Elm Street Cultural Arts Village for having me. Thanks, I really appreciate it, and I hope you all enjoy this tutorial. All right, let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using ink tents, blocks, or any water-soluble item. I like these because they will dry permanently and will not move when we layer. I will also be using Posca paint pens in black and white, a water brush, as well as a card base. It's an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper cut in half and then folded in half. To get started, I'll be using pink, yellow, and green ink tents blocks. I've already gessoed my background, which will allow the ink to move freely on the background instead of soaking in. I'm gonna take my water brush, pick up some color from my block, and then add it to the background. I like to add it in three different spots, which will create a visual triangle. When you go from one to the other, it creates a triangle, and the three and the visual triangle are more pleasing to the human eye. I've added a lot more water to allow the colors to drip, which creates just a fun, watery color look. I'm picking up the green and doing the same thing around the card, and I'm going to allow the colors to blend. Again, I'm squeezing my water brush so that more water is released and the colors come together and blend beautifully to make a beautiful background. Tilting the card will allow them to blend even more. Once done, you want to allow the background to dry before moving on to the next step. Here I'm going to take my brush and get pick up some pink and then I'm just going to splotch it on in sort of a fun, funky, wonky, circle, not circle shape. Just have fun with it and let the colors fall where they may. You don't want this to be perfect. You don't want uh, to try to shape the flower. You just want it to be a fun shape. And you want to squeeze the brush to allow some of the color to drip down. Again, it gives it a real cool watercolor feel. Add as much color as you like to intensify parts of what will become your flower. Just keep going until you're satisfied. Next, of course, before we move on to the next part, we want to let this dry. Then we want to grab our Posca black pen to add some details. You're going to just look at this and you're going to see whatever pops out to you as your flower shape or your petals. And you want to go ahead and draw those on. You can just figure it out for yourself and let it just guide you. Or you can make the decision to do specific shapes. I like to let the paint guide me. I found the part that is a little bit lighter at the bottom, and then there's this part that's a little bit darker, and I just draw the flower around those specific parts. And no matter what, I just allow them to shape my flower. I've been thinking about poppies, which I love to do often, so I'm adding this part here and coloring it in black so that I can create my poppy. I also like to go around and add darker spots in certain areas, which add depth and dimension to my flower. Looks like folds and just different uh, parts of uh, the flower, and it adds like a bit of shading. I like to do a scribbly kind of stem where I also write. So here I'm writing the word hello. And then I just kind of scribble on the rest of the stem, which gives it a really cool look. And since I love scribbling, I'm going to go ahead and scribble just a bit more because it's fun and it's freeing. And we're playing. And that's exactly what I want you to do. 
Next, just add a little bit more detail. Of course, hit it with your dryer. Before we go to this next part, we're gonna grab our white pen and we're gonna add in those little white dots and white seeds and some white highlights, which symbolize light on our flower. It's just a nice little touch to add as you're creating. Next thing I like to do is grab my black ink tense bar and I'm going to take my water brush and I'm going to squeeze out a lot of water and then I'm just going to flick it over the top of my ink tense bar to add some splatters of black ink around the card. It's an amazing way to finish up the card and just add a fun touch to your creation. Yay! Our card is done. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I've got more fun free tutorials for you at trsmith.com. That's T-I-A-R-E-S-M-I-T-H dot com. I hope to see you there. Thanks again for having me. Have an amazing day. I hope you create. Bye.